everyone, this is Suzy Q of Suzy Q's Happy Little Haven, and welcome to my nursery room window. Hi everyone, so today I have Maggie May with me, and uh, Maggie May is going to be twinning today with her beautiful sister, Katie, over at Suzanne's Baby's Nursery. And let me show you the dress that they're going to be twinning with today. Um, I saw that Suzanne already has her video up. And so um, hopefully my video won't take too long to upload today. Uh, fingers crossed. I have such um, trouble getting my videos to upload out here in the country. Anyway, this is the dress that we're uh, twinning with today. And it is by Bo Kid. And um, I sent this dress to Suzanne so that we could twin our, our girls, our big girls. And um, I chose this dress because um, it has uh, both things that Suzanne and I just adore. Uh, first of all, Suzanne loves tucking in um in dresses and outfits and so i saw the tucking and then i love corduroy i love 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 corduroy and so this is um, a corduroy dress and um, i love corduroy for in you know the the chilly seasons like um oh end of october november december january february you know and i just think it's an awesome fabric i love the texture of it i love the looks of it and so i chose this dress um for the girls i um i sent it to suzanne uh, for her birth birthday uh, a few weeks ago and it's by Bo kid and it's got um well as you can see it's got two little tiny um, roses, uh, like their little embroidered roses uh, on the collar. Uh, the collar has this really uh, pretty cotton, this is like a cotton uh, lace. And like I said, it has uh, the tucking, but then it has um, little pink uh, decorations to match the roses um, uh, along the tucking. And uh, the sleeves are really neat too. They, um, well, first of all, they're sort of um, gathered you know, at the, um, at the wrist. And it's got this uh, cotton uh, lace that has a satin, blue satin ri ribbon uh, woven in and out. I thought that was pretty unique um, for a dress. And it also has, um, with the same satin uh, blue ribbon, it has um, uh, two satin bows, one on either side of the waistline. And then it's got a button down, it's got three buttons down the back, and then it's got this um, uh, beautiful corduroy uh, dress tie. And then let's see, I believe it does have an underskirt. Yes, it does. Um, it's sort of like a linen cotton type of fabric um, gathered um, underskirt. And yeah, it's just got the one layer. So anyway, I thought that would be really, really pretty on our uh, blue-eyed girls. <laughs> you know, I thought it'd uh, make their eyes pop a little bit. And um, for the shoes, let me go ahead and leave this up here. Uh, for the shoes, I chose these really pretty uh, light blue uh, strappy shoes that have cutouts, uh, little cutouts in the toe here. And I couldn't believe being able to find a pair of shoes um, at the same place where I got found this dress. Um, Children's Salon actually is where I found it. And I could not believe being able to find a pair of shoes that would fit um, Katie and Maggie May in this exact color of blue. Um, I was thrilled, you know how I like to match things. And so, yeah, I found these shoes. And then um, I wanted to find some cotton lace um, socks, but I did find uh, these are um, what I mean by cotton lace is the lace being cotton because the, the lace in the collar of the dress is cotton. But this is a, a, a nylon uh, lace, but it kind of, you know, it kind of sort of goes with the lace in the collar. So I thought they would work. Um, they're really nice socks. They're very stretchy, so they'll go on really easily. And then um, I just saw a snippet of Suzanne's uh, video that she uploaded in, and she um, she chose a white bow uh, to go along with, um, you know, like the, as the accent color for the dress. And I think that's a really neat idea because, you know, they're going to be wearing white socks and also the lace in the collar is white. So um, and, and also the sleeves. So I think that's a really good idea, Suzanne, that you chose white 
to go as the accent color. And then I found these earrings um, that are, uh, they're like a light pink with a very light blue uh, center. And I thought that, that those would go really cute because of the fact that the, um, you know, the roses and this uh, design in the tucking is pink. And then the, of course, the, the dress is light blue. So um, that's the earrings that I went with. I'm not sure. I, I don't remember if Katie wears earrings or not, but if she did, does, I, I'm not sure what um, type of earrings that Suzanne chose. But um, anyway, so yeah, that's what we're going to be um, uh, changing our girls into today. And like I said, Suzanne's video is already up. If you want to um, go over to her channel, Suzanne's Babies, and see her beautiful Katie. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'll go ahead and take her little uh, Maggie Mae's little um, unicorn. That's her official toy. She does, she goes nowhere without her unicorn. I'm also going to remove the bow from her uh, from her hair, you know, just to make it easier to um, to get her dressed and undressed. So yeah, um, I looked on my. Um, in my ch on my channel and it's been quite a while since I've done a, a video. Um, it was uh, five days ago um, that I did my last video and uh, yeah, I, um, I had a doctor's appointment uh, regarding my left ear being, uh, being deaf. Um, I finally had my second doctor's appointment this week and um, I, well, I've got good news and bad news. <laughs> um, I, uh, I also had an, MR, an MRI um, on my ear uh, that same day that I uh, met with the, um, the ear, nose, and throat specialist. And so they did the MRI first, and um, then I met with the specialist afterwards to get the results. Plus, he also gave me another uh, hearing test. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, the good news is um, I, I have hearing out of my right ear. <laughs> That's about all I can tell you about the good news. Um, I do, you know, I have hearing out of my right ear, which I knew I did because, of course, the, the virus uh, didn't attack my right ear. It, effect, it attacked my left ear. And, uh, but the bad news is, is that um, I'm not going to have hearing in, in my left ear. And I guess the virus um, just really took care of that for me, uh, unfortunately. And um, the steroids that I uh, that I took, um, it did. They did uh, open up uh, a, t a tiny bit of hearing in my um, in my affected ear, in my left ear, just a tiny, tiny bit of hearing, but. The hearing that I actually have, um, I can't, I, I, I can't tell um, from which direction noises are coming from, and but I, I have a tiny bit of hearing, like I said, and also, um, oh, what else? Oh, I cannot decipher what someone is saying if they're on my left left side. I, I can hear noise noises, but I can't decipher what they're saying, and so basically. Um, I have to depend on my um, on my left ear uh, for um, not my left ear, of course, my right ear uh, for hearing. So yeah, so that's the bad news. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm just gonna have to to live with it, and that's all I can say about that. Um, you know, um, I didn't have perfect hearing before. I had that kind of hearing that. Um, that if I was in a restaurant, let's say, where there's a lot of noise, background noise, and if I had someone, you know, sitting in front of me, I could not, I couldn't tell what they were telling me. I had that kind of hearing, that kind of too much background noise hearing. And so, I mean, it, what, my hearing wasn't perfect, but at least I could hear, um, you know, when I wasn't in a crowded restaurant, but um, now I can't hear it all out of my left ear. So, um, so that's just something that I'm going to have to uh, to get used to. Um, you know, kind of learn my way around, trying to figure out where sounds are coming from and stuff. So, um, 
so yeah but i wanted to mention uh, this dress this gorgeous dress this dress was um, a gift to maggie may um, from suzanne and it is just just a beautiful beautiful dress and it came with these um really pretty little uh little bloomers um it has this silver uh sparkly stripe in and so yeah i love this dress on her such a perfect dress for spring and summer i just had to mention that because it's a gorgeous gorgeous dress um so yeah um so and oh the other thing you know the mri um i thought that i had had uh when I had my um, CAT scan for my, I had another issue that I had a CAT scan for um, earlier this year. And uh, so um, I, I confused um, the MRI with a CAT scan. Um, when I had the MRI, and let me explain, when I had the MRI uh, this week, what happened was the MRI uh, ended up, I ended up being about 40 40 to 45 minutes um, inside that the MRI machine, and uh, but see the difference is when I had my when I had the uh, CAT scan, which I thought was the MRI, but oh well, <laughs> you know it was only like a five or ten minute thing, and I was done. But um, and so I was telling the uh, the technician or the nurse, um, you know, about that. I said. I said, how, you know, like she, um, she did one of those MRIs that you have to get the, um, the imaging, uh, dye, you know, um, injected so that they, they can see every little bit and piece of whatever they're, um, imaging. So she, about halfway through, she was about 20 minutes later after I'm, you know, in there and I'm wondering when is this going to end? When is this going to end? Uh, she, you know, she came in and she said, okay, now I'm going to put the, the um, imaging fluid in. And I asked her, I said, you know, when I had my MRI, you know, this uh, earlier this year, it sure didn't last that long, you know. And uh, she goes, well, I, I'll bet you had a CAT scan. And then and then I remember, yes, it was. <laughs> I remember that it was a CAT scan, not an MRI, you guys. And uh so I was so embarrassed, you know, because it's like, oh my goodness, I should have known the difference, but I didn't. Um, but uh, anyway, we, we both kind of had a laugh about that because, you know, she understood. She's, you know, I'm not the expert. She's the expert. So, uh, so yeah. But anyway, uh, yeah, it did last quite a long time. Like I said, 40 or 45 minutes inside. inside. Um, actually, I was only in the tube up to where my shoulders, um, like up to, like to here, you know, like just beyond, below my neck, because all I needed to image was my, uh, my left ear. Um, but there's all kinds of weird, loud noises and stuff that go on, um, kind of like a CAT scan, but louder and more intense. So, um, um, let me know if you guys have ever had a CAT scan or an MRI and uh, let me know if you had the same experience of, of being in the, uh, the tube for that long. Wow, this is really, what's going on under here? Okay, I had a, she was hung up. You were hung up, weren't you? And wow, well, look at that. I'm going to have to show you guys the color of this compared to her eyes. I bet Katie looks gorgeous in this color too. I bet she does. Let's go ahead and sit her up. Look at how, how much fun she's having already wearing this pretty dress. Yeah. Go ahead and sit her up and I will readjust the camera for you guys as soon as I can get her scored away here. Um, so yeah, I got, I got through that and uh, we were, we were, my hubby and I were gone absolutely all day. We left the house at, um, Gosh, it was like 10, uh, 10, 15 in the morning. We left the house to go over. The, the, um, the hospital itself is about uh, an hour, oh, an hour and 15 minutes, I think, is how long it uh, takes us to get there. So, um, so yeah, it's a long drive. But, um, so what, but what we decided to do was, um, it was also, it just happened to be um, our once a month grocery shopping day. So uh, my hubby thought of this. He said, well, 
why don't I, you know, you give me the list and I'll go grocery shopping while you're in there taking the tests. And um, so I thought, oh, that's a really good idea. So all I had to do was make the list for him. Um, he's a really good shopper, you guys. He, um, you know, he is, he's so, he's so familiar with the stores um, layout. He always knows where everything is. And I don't, even though I've been there a million times. <laughs> um, so anyway, yeah. So, uh, he dropped me off at the hospital and I had my, I did my MRI. And then, um, after that, the actual doctor's, uh, uh, specialist appointment was in the next building. And so, um, but, but you can get there from inside the hospital. There's like a breezeway that you go across and they're kind of connected like that. And uh, the nurse, the, the nurse was a male nurse that helped out with the MRI. And he was so kind and showed me um, exactly how to, to go from one place to another on, uh, you know, which I was really grateful for because I, I could get lost uh, in a, in a I, my favorite saying is, if you put me in a brown paper bag, I could get lost just walking around inside of it. But, um, oh, there it goes. You know, her, her dress was, was caught up inside of there somehow. I was really struggling. She was holding none of that dress with her, with her arms, I think. <laughs> Look at her. She was just joking around with mom. Yes, she was, yes, she was. Uh, so anyway, yeah, he showed me how to get to the other place and I went in there and I was about an hour and a half early for my next appointment. So I, um, I brought my handy dandy Kindle, my reading, my, uh, my e-reader, electronic reader. I brought it with me and I just dug it out of my purse and, and started reading and um, had fun doing that um while well, i was waiting for my my specialist appointment so everything went fine you know um i kind of expected that kind of news because of the fact that i couldn't hear i'm going to turn her around because my favorite way here's my favorite way of doing bows so that the bows uh end up correctly in my eyes anyway is i do it from this angle you know and that way um, for me, anyway, that way I can get the bow to look really pretty. Let's see. Let's see here. You know me about bows. I, I like to tie bows, and uh, but I like the bows to end up looking really nice, you know, once they're tied. I'm glad that these are already done, these pretty, um, these pretty blue satin ones. Adjust the camera a little bit. But yeah, it was a really long day. Um, we got home we finally got home uh, uh gosh it was it was after five i believe and um jenny hilt was a good girl she stayed of course um in the house all day i don't have her in her crate anymore when i leave um i used to because i you know when i first got her i wasn't sure how she would be um but all she does is sleep all day when we're not there so um so i left her uh, you know, out and she was able to do her thing and be out and not be in her crate all day, which worked out really well. And yeah, so, um, but when I, when I got home, of course, um, I had only given her the one walk, uh, in the morning before we left. And so she was really, really full of, you know, full of gumption and full of energy and full of everything. She was just full of everything. And so, um, even though I walked her and played ball with her and everything else, even when I was done, she still had the energy of, oh my goodness. So, um, you know, she does love her routine. You know, she, she loves her routine. So, uh, when she misses it, she really misses it. So let's see, um, I'm going to go ahead and take these pretty butterfly earrings out. Um, I'm going to pop them in here. Now my hubby is doing uh, weed eating outside right in the yard where I just happen to be uh, uh, just right outside the nursery room window here. So I hope you're not uh, disturbed by that sound. Um, yeah, I told him I was going to come out here and do a video. Um, 
but uh, you know, he's got his plans too. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's just, you know, I haven't done a video in five days and he decides to come out and do his weed eating right outside the, the window. Well, I don't know how, <laughs> I just quite don't know quite how to react to that. But he's just, uh, you know, he's just, he's just, he's just a guy, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to complain against him at all because he, he is my hero. He takes me to all of my appointments and, um, you know, he, uh, he keeps everything up at the farm. And so, yeah, no complaints here, you guys, none at all. And there's her beautiful hair, her beautiful human hair, which I love. Yep. Let's turn her around, get her bow in, and then I will put her, um, her shoes and her socks on. Yes, I will. And, and like I said, Suzanne, what a neat idea to look at how pretty that, that white looks. You know, with this, that is just gorgeous. And I'm pretty sure that Suzanne had used the same linen bows uh, that I sent her quite a while ago. Um, actually, I don't, I don't even remember if it was uh, last year. I think it was probably last year. Let me see. Do I need to, to lay her down? Probably not. Let's go ahead and take her socks off. Readjust the camera for you so that you can see what I'm doing. So yeah, it's been it's been a bit it's been quite a week, you guys. Um, so just kind of resting up from everything and just kind of getting used to knowing that I'm not going to hear so well out of my left side. But um, you know, I was talking to a, a neighbor. Um, he called. Uh, yesterday was looking for my hubby who was who was actually outside working but anyway I told him about my my hearing situation and I had remembered that he also had a uh, a hearing problem in one of his ears so I asked him about it and um, I knew that he had a hearing problem in one ear but I wasn't sure what caused it well he told me that when he was in high school him and a bunch of boys um, we're uh, fooling around, <coughs> excuse me, fooling around in the gym, uh, you know, the swimming, swimming pool. And they were just, you know, being boys, being boys and fooling around and being reckless and stuff. And they were diving, you know, doing fancy dives off the diving board or whatever, you know. And uh, so he so he he got up there and decided that he was going to do some kind of a flip or something. I don't know. Um, but what ended up happening was that he. Um, he, he dove off and then um, he landed square, uh, just flat on his left side, on his left ear. And um, from that point on, that's when his hearing, whoop, let's go ahead and, I'm going to go ahead and lay her down. That's when he lost his hearing, uh, just on that side. And so he's had hearing loss ever since he was um you know a, a senior in high school so um so yeah and uh he he does you know he sounded like he was very um uh re he he very much regretted uh doing that you know but you know boys will be boys they just will they um they really have um they're really brave you know about doing things so yeah, these shoes fit just right. Um, these are a size 18 or a size 2. And the way that I get my um, baby shoes is I measure their feet. Because most of the time these days, um, whoever sells the shoes has a measurement chart that you can measure their feet either in inches or centimeters or both. And then you can get, you know, the, exa the exact size that you need. It's not like the good old days where you, you know, like uh, if, um, if, a, if a child wore a size three, um, you could just get any old size three and it's going to work. You know, that was the good old days. Um, but that was the days when I grew up. But uh, anyway, I mean, it's kind of easy. All you have to do is measure. No biggie. But um, boy, I really like these. Look at this. 
Look at these shoes with this dress. Yeah. Oops, I'm trying very hard not to get to my microphone, but um, aren't those cute? She looks really cute. Your nice, your nice corduroy tucked, tucked dress. Let's go ahead and readjust the camera for you. There we go. There's our pretty little smiley girl, and and uh oh, she just reminded me. She said, she said, Mom, before we go, you know, I wanted to say hi to my to my uh, twin sister, Katie. And uh, we are, she said, I'm having fun twinning with her today. And so I wanted to make sure that I said hello to Katie. And also, um, she also has another twin sister um, named Lainey that's over at Carousel Cutie. So she's saying hello to all of her twin sisters today, but especially to Katie um that um you know she's wearing the same dress and she's so excited about that and katie even has a unicorn it's not the exact same unicorn but she's got a cute little unicorn um that she has for her little toy too so um so anyway everyone um thank you so much for joining me today i hope you enjoyed seeing maggie may again and it's, it's been about a month since i brought her on uh, have a wonderful weekend and um, uh, and a and a really great um, uh, week uh, following this one. Uh, so anyway, until I see you again, um, thanks a lot for visiting and um, take care, everyone. Bye bye for me and Maggie May.